What's going on guys? County Gains back here again with a very different video, man. This one is actually quite serious. So I was just flicking through Twitter the last day and I came across this article that I have right here, guys. So it basically describes a young man who described, the young man's name is Dean Carey, right? From Sligo, I believe, which is actually like, I think it's only like an hour and a half away from where I'm living at. But it says a young man who stabbed and killed home intruder in Waterford, jailed for three and a half years, guys, which... I just first saw this headline, I was like, there's no way because, you know, we have a law in Ireland that's called stand your ground, that if someone comes into your house, you know, or anything of that sort, guys, if they assault your cat, dog, or they hit your mama, any of that crazy shit, guys, if they, like, knock down your door, and then you're, like, <clears throat> allowed to put reasonable force on them, guys. You know, the law states reasonable force. So if they have a knife, you're allowed to... I suppose have a knife as well, you know, in defending yourself, like some sort of <clears throat> ancient, you know, sword fight. If they have a gun, I mean, I guess you're allowed to use a gun against them. You know, it's kind of reasonable force, right? But that kind of gets a bit stray, guys. That law it gets a bit kind of, you know, faded. The the actual intricacies of that law because what is reasonable force? Because let me read this story for you guys. So this guy was at home without warning when he was attacked by this guy, Jack Power. So the, the pathologist, I read the whole report, the pathologist talked about how he had cocaine in his system, he was drinking all night till 3 a.m. and he came home to this house and he noticed that his, maybe his neighbor or some something like that, knocked his wing mirror off his car, something like that, guys, it doesn't really matter too much. And he got really mad, this Power guy, and ran over to this Dean Carey's house and proceeded to break open his window of the house, open the front door and then go upstairs into Dean's room and his mom's room and basically just, you know, put a beat down on them, you know, start teeing off on them. And, you know, Dean Carey, who's a really frail guy. I mean, this guy looks like he's 130 pounds soaking wet. He's tiny. This guy's like, what, five, six, like he's just tiny dude. And the other guy, power is big, strong guy, fisherman, right? You know, he proceeded to put a beat down on him, but because he was able to even the odds and grab a knife and actually defend himself, stab him a couple times, get him off him, get him off himself, that he is now going to jail for three years because he actually ended up killing him. Well, here's the thing, guys. You know, you don't get to dictate the laws of self-defense. You know, if someone's attacking you at three o'clock in the morning, what do you think they're breaking into your house for, guys? If someone breaks into my house, do you think that they're there to read the Bible to you? Snuggle up beside you in bed and read the Bible, busting down your door with a uh, with a freaking big rock. Do you think that they're there to play the new Call of Duty with you on the PlayStation 4? What do you think they're there for, guys? They're there probably to kill you guys. Like, straight up, man. You know, it's not to put a beat down on you. It's to kill you guys. And this guy had cocaine in his system. He had drugs in his system, alcohol. I mean, this guy was completely... He was driving drunk. Like complete reckless behavior you know i don't know the intricate details of this situation because if he like hit him and then he was knocked out and then he stabbed him or if he had him in an incapacitated state if he said okay okay you win and then he stabbed him that's yeah that's 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 murder guys that's like against the geneva convention you're, you're gonna go to jail right that's against everything right you can't kill a guy who's surrendering right that's not that's not how it works but this guy wasn't guys and he had two other buddies with him i think something like that and three of these guys were just putting a beat down on this guy's family for no reason, and he was able to even the odds and kill him. I see nothing wrong with that, guys. If you're able to even the odds in a situation, you know, if you're able to grab a force multiplier, like better weapons, more weapons, more people, like, I don't really see a problem with this at all, guys. It's absolutely, this is probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, like I said, guys, this is above my pay grade. I don't actually know the intricate details of this, but from what it looks like, guys, it looks like the guy was totally just incapacitated standing there and then he was able to grab a knife and he hit him and he accidentally, I mean, here's the thing guys, when you go to, when you're a criminal and you go to do crazy things, robbery, you know, armed assault, assault in the middle of the night, like grave bodily harm to people, beat them up, whatever, you don't get to dictate how someone is self-defense against you, you know, whether that, and that includes killing you, like, you know, you don't get to, <laughs> I know what happens, guys, if someone runs through that door, man. You know, it's going to be a long day, bro, a long day for them. So, 
you know, and you know, that's if they have a knife or something, guys. If they have a gun, I mean, you're pretty much screwed as is because we don't have any self defense thing in Ireland. And this is what I want to get in this video, guys. You know, we have zero self defense in this country. Self defense weapons, we have nothing to defend yourself from. If someone wants to impose their will on you, like I'll say, you're pretty much screwed. You know, I did judo for four years, like I always talk about in the videos and shit. And I mean, it's not going to do anything, guys. If two or three people are attacking you, I mean, you're screwed, guys. We need self-defense things here. I think they should change the law. What we can do is, when I research this article completely, and Gripped Media did an article about this. I might actually link their story in the comments down below. I think that the number one thing we should get is like self-defense weapons in Ireland, guys. You know, because teaching people and women and stuff to like kick them in the nuts and shit and run away just isn't good enough, guys. You know, I don't want to bring it up, guys, that super sad case of that Ashley Murphy girl, which is the most traumatizing thing ever. I recently looked back on the case and she had a boyfriend of eight years and stuff. And it just kind of reminds me of just, it's such a, it's such a relatable story to every single person in the country, right? That this guy could be such a crazy nut case that he strangled her to death or whatever the case, I think he might've stabbed her, whatever the case may be. You know, if she had simply some pepper spray, which is legally bought in every country in Europe, pretty much a lot of countries, like I'm half Czech guys. I go to Slovakia every year. I can walk into any store there and get a taser, big taser, you can get a gun taser, you can get pepper spray, you can get like, there's like 20 types of different pepper spray. I bought that hat, guys. I bought this hat in Slovakia, right? They didn't buy any pepper spray. But my cousins, guys, in Slovakia, they're two girls, right? They're like 27, and same age as me, whatever, and 30. They both carry pepper spray non-stop, guys, for dogs, and like, there's a lot of like pit bulls, and just nutcases in that country. It's a very tough country, right? And um, they carry pepper spray and like bear spray in their backpacks and stuff on the way to work every day. Just as like a self-protection, like not criminal activity, but you know what we legal, you know what we call that in Ireland, guys, carrying pepper spray? We call that a firearm. I'm gonna pop up the law here, guys. We call carrying pepper spray a firearm. I mean, it's a complete joke, guys. I was recently in Canada. You can buy it in freaking Walmart. Like you can buy all the self-defense tasers, I don't think you should get tasers that you can shoot people with. I don't think that's, that's, that's a bit kind of extreme. I don't think anyone's going to be, you know, using that. But, you know, they have guns and everything to self-defense. Do I agree with that? I mean, that's a, that's a talk for another day. I don't personally probably think that having loads of guns in the country is good. But definitely having some sort of self-defense weapon, guys. You know, not just teaching people judo and martial arts. Like, that guy, that scumbag that killed Ashley Murph, guys. You know, that could have been prevented, guys. She would still be alive today, I guarantee it, if she had pepper spray. That's a huge statement, guys. And I wish that my message would get out to the masses. But unfortunately, maybe only 100 people will watch this video. But once I get more of a following, I'll start pushing that agenda. I really want to push self-defense, guys. Because I think in the next 10 years, it's going to turn into pretty much how England is, guys. You know, I think that violent crime, I don't know if it's on the rise here. It pretty much is on the rise, I'm pretty sure. But, you know... Not everyone is a big, strong, imposing person, you know, and they can defend themselves to a certain point. I mean, even if you're a big, strong dude, you know, three guys come at you with knives or whatever, your life's over, guys. And sadly, that's kind of the way things are here in Ireland. You know, I wish we could have force multipliers. I wish you could legally get guns and stuff maybe to defend yourself. But, you know, that's just never going to happen, guys. You know, it's never going to happen. And it really is kind of a trickle down thing from the government, guys, because you know, as a country, we can't defend ourselves. You know, we can't defend ourselves from any attack, guys. We have 8,000 people in the military and the army. If Russia were to attack us, we'd be sitting ducks. You know, we can't defend ourselves from our own people. And the government have been shown that we can't defend ourselves from other people. So it's kind of pathetic, guys. You know, we're living in pretty much a sitting duck, guys. If you guys watch any of those military movies, we are sitting duck. We're the only country in the world that isn't signed a treaty with the U.S. military to say, to defend us in case of anything happens. And, you know, that will be upheld, guys. If anyone attacks us, America's not going to back us, guys. I'm sadly to say they might if they see it as a strategic stronghold to attack other nations in Europe. But as a whole, guys, we're one of the only countries in the world. I think we're like the only country in the world that hasn't signed like a, a treaty with the U.S. to say that, could you defend us if it, in case the shit hits the fan? So... Yeah, it's like a trickle-down effect, guys. We can't defend our own people, and then now pepper spray, batons, all this simple stuff that people could carry, 
you know, late at night, like my cousins do in another European, in another European Union country, like Slovakia, like Prague, like Poland. All this stuff is legal over there. And the funny thing is, guys, you know, you know, in Kashice, in my, in my parents' city, the crime is much lower than in Ireland. I'm gonna pop up another study here, guys. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm running this show, bro. The crime is half it than it is in Ireland. But we don't have any pepper spray. We don't have any guns. But the violent crime rate is double, is triple than it is in Slovakia and than it is in Prague and all these different places. I don't know about Prague. Prague's probably pretty dangerous. But I know for a fact it's more in, in Ireland than it is in Poland. Why is that, guys? Why is that? It's almost like if you're seeing that you can't defend yourself, you get attacked. I mean, that's how it was in society years ago. If you're shown to be a, a, a village without any fighters or warriors, that was the village first to go. That's the, the Celts would just arrive on boats, kill everyone, and then take everyone. And it's horrendous, guys. I don't know how we don't have self-defense laws in this country. And I think that people have, you know, I'm just going to leave you guys with this statement. I think that people in the Irish government have blood on their hands, guys. For that murder of that poor girl, which could have easily be easily easily been prevented with pepper spray, you know that piece of shit. He'd have a little rash on his face. He'd have a little runny nose, you know, and she'd be running away, and she'd be all good, you know. Unfortunately, that's not what happened, guys. You know, super super sad. But when I read that article, man, it just is so sad, guys. And people will never experience that, but they don't care, guys, because it doesn't interfere with money in this country. Unless it interferes with money in the country, people don't care. So keep it how it is, guys. Now, I will say one thing. We don't need guns, right? I, kinda, I don't think we need that shit, but pepper spray and those like metal tools that you guys can buy and stuff in like local stores, you can buy them anywhere in any European store would be really good. Or like little, not tasers, because you can actually use those to like kidnap people and shit. I don't think that stuff should be legal. It's a bit crazy, that stuff. But having, like, pepper spray, I've heard that that's worse than getting shot sometimes. You know, I've heard videos, just watch loads of videos online, you know, because I see a lot of Irish people, and they're like, oh, I have a hurl above my door in my house. Someone comes into the house, I'm gonna hit them over the head with the hurl. Guys, that's not how it works, man. The movies are not real life. You know, pepper spray is the only thing that's gonna work against intruders, or any of these people, and that's just that's just like the minimum, guys. I mean, by right, everyone should be allowed to have a gun in their house to defend their own house. Like, I don't agree with walking around with guns. That's crazy because then that kind of like inflates, you know, crime. But what's wrong with having a having a gun right here, just sitting on my table, just chilling here? What's wrong with that? Like, you know, I'm not doing anything to anyone. If someone runs into the house with a knife or something. It's a force multiplier, you know, and that's what you want in those situations. But that's never gonna happen, guys. So, will I stay here my whole life? I mean, I don't know, guys, if I ever start making money off YouTube, I, I wish I'd stay, but when I see things like this and I see violent crime on the rise in Ireland, it really just turns me off completely, guys, you know, perfectly honest with you. So tell me what you guys think, man. I think that pepper spray isn't used. It's used by criminals in Dublin already. You know, that's what the Gripped Media article said. It's already used by criminals in Dublin. I've seen videos on YouTube where criminals are using knives to, to stab people, but we're not allowed to carry knives to defend ourselves. Super, super sad, guys. You know, if someone breaks into your house, man. Just remember, like, better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. You know what I mean? That's the way I see it. That guy will be out in three years, you know, and he still has his life. I mean, that guy that attacked him in his house that was drugged up on cocaine and not in the right mind frame. He had mind-altering drugs in his system. He might have killed him. You know, he still has his life. Three years, he'll be out in three years. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, I still wouldn't give him three years. I don't know how a jury convicted him of that. I mean, I mean, you know, there must be some intricate details that we're not looking at here. So that's above my pay grade. But, you know, we can't bring back that poor girl's life in, um, in, uh, in awful, I think that's where she was killed. So super sad, guys. If she just had pepper spray or something with her on her belt, like my cousins do in any European Union country, all above board, seven euro, seven euro for a little thing like that, and the guy's done, bro, you're incapacitated, I mean, that shit, bro, that's, that stuff, watch any video on YouTube, that stuff is horrendous, pepper spray is like, the worst, bro, oh my god, and she'd still be here, guys, and not to make light of that note, that is, that is a fact of reality, guys, I love you guys all, man, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.